If you're looking to build your team, make sure you head on over to CheapMaddenCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And make sure to use code WOLF for 10% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. Now, before we get into this, man, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, man. I'll be posting more defenses, more blitzes, more gameplay, more money schemes. Today's going to be like a two-play money scheme for you guys. I'm in the Falcons playbook today because I was just messing with the playbooks, but the split close out of the gun formation is going to be in a lot of other playbooks. Maybe not a lot, but a few more. So if you know another playbook that has the two plays that i'm about to show you guys uh then let me know in the comments let everybody know in the comments so what do you guys think of the playoffs that we're going to be jumping into what do you think of the eagles bro doing what they did that's just amazing all right so the gun split close the first play i'm going to show you guys is going to be the halfback wheel now i'm just gonna i'm just gonna run it right i'm gonna run it the basic way i'm not going to worry about the wheel routes to the left or, or the post coming over the left side no i want to run this to make it a consistent play i don't want to be looking all over the field looking for an open route you can't do that in madden all right you got to know pretty much what you're looking for as soon as you snap the ball because of a lot of the, the a lot of the pressure in the game a lot of the blitzes and stuff you got to know already so i'm going to show you guys this play and then i'm going to show you the cover three beater out of the gun split close it's just awesome and to me personally it's an awesome play so halfback wheel right here it's a classic play a lot of people use it considered like a bum play you know what i'm saying and it will just go random cover two now this is the way the play looks now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the right side of the field we're going to try to make the flood concept so what we're going to do is we're going to block our y uh running back to the left okay and we're going to take x right and we're just going to i mean you could in all honesty, bros, you could just do whatever you want with X. All right, do whatever you want. That's not what I'm looking for in this play. What I'm going to do is put B on a streak, and then I'm going to motion him out just like this. He's going to force the defense on the right side to either play their clouds or play their hard flats faster. If we leave him comp in a compressed set and he plays a cloud, he can he can uh, play both hard and cloud. It, it's weird, but if you practice this, this enough, you'll know what I'm saying automatically. Now, the RB route. These routes in Madden 19, they develop too fast. So instead of running this flat route the way it's designed, I'm just going to put them on an out route. That's the route I want right there. I need a little delay to see what that cloud flat is doing. Now slide protect to the side you want. I'm going to slide protect to the right because I'm looking at the defensive line. There's more people to the right. So I want to make sure I compensate for that. You know what I'm saying? So this is the look right here. The read is simple. We're looking at the cloud flat to the right. We're not worried about everything else that's happening on the field. The user is pretty much not going to play that. But if he is, you could take X, right? And you can bring him on an in route if you want. Um, but I'm going to leave him out of the equation. You can do whatever you want with that guy. Okay, so it's simple. Like I said, I snap the ball. I'm looking for RB. I'm looking for the RB or the A route. I'm watching the cloud flat to the right of the screen. You see where B is? The guy that's in front of him? That's the guy I'm trying to pay attention. That corner right there, I'm watching what he does. If he stays real low, then I'm going to look for the A route and the corner route. The B route takes care of the blues, anything behind those zones. Let me snap the ball. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Right here, RB wide open, money all day. If I get six, seven, eight yards, I'm good with it. You know, I'm talking about chain moving offenses. So remember, block Y for extra protection. RB on an uh, out route. Just put him on an out, out route. Outright is what it's called. Uh, streak B and then motion him out. Boom. Now, this play can be ran this way against pretty much any defense in the game. Um, the only one you'll have problems with, like saying man defense, maybe cover four quarters will give you a little bit of trouble because they man him up uh, if you're playing someone that leaves their cover four quarters. But just pay attention to my channel, bro. If you're having problems with cover four, I got cover four quarter beaters that are just, it'll just annihilate it. Your opponent won't even want to run those. I think like two videos ago I showed you guys. All right, so here we go. We're going to read that flat to the right. We're going to read it. He takes off. You see what's going on with B? Do you see what's happening? Let me show you guys what I mean. Let me show you the significance of not motioning that wide receiver out. If I don't motion him out and I just put him on a street and then set it up the way I'm setting it up, watch what happens to that cloud to the right of the screen. Now he can play. He can do what he wants. Right here, there he's in a, in a, in a hard flat, so we can hit the A route. But if he's in a cloud... He'll look like he's playing a hard flat, but he'll jump to a cloud. Let me show you guys so you guys can see, man, because, like I said, I, 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 practice, I practice too much, bro. You know what I mean? Like, look, look at this. Well, look at this. 
That's another hard flat. I don't know why he keeps playing hard flats. That must be the play. But if they're playing hard flats and you see him do that, then he's not covering the cloud, which means that A on the corner route is going to be wide open. Uh, and that's two plays in a row that he did that. So let's see if it's clouds this time. Here we go. We're going to snap the ball. Okay, there it is, clouds. So you see how he's in the middle of both routes? It's going to confuse you if he's in the middle of both routes because you're not you're not stretching the defense out by motioning the guy out. Let me try it again so you guys can see what's going on. Pay attention if he's in that cloud. All right, he's in a hard flat. You see how he's playing that guy down there? That leaves this guy wide open. Money all day. I'm telling you guys right now. Just follow basic concepts, and, and this will work, you know, pretty much against – Every defense, bro. I want to say most defenses is in the game. All right, let's just leave him in. Let's see if they play Cloud. Look how hard this is. See how he's playing that? And then he backs up and plays this. Luckily, uh, the guy was open, and I didn't put him on an uh, outright. So that's kind of my fault. Let me put him on an outright. Me, personally, I won't run it this way. You see how he's playing both? And now, like, the play is just, like, busted. Just, it just feel, looks weird. Looks, It feels weird. I take care of that by motioning this guy out and then putting this guy out on an out route like this. Eight against cover two. You know what I'm saying? Like, this this is how I do it. This is how I play. I want to make sure that this guy's going to be wide open and I get my four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on how many, depending on how far back he goes. But that B route forces that cloud into his zone, like into the back of his zone. He doesn't get to dictate if he wants to jump down or not. So you see this right here? Boom. And, and, and that's, just, that's just how it's done. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you read it that way against cover three, cover four. You read it the same way. There's no point in me going cover two, cover three, cover four. Okay. I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to show you the cover three beating play that, that, that I want to show you guys. So split close. Remember, we just went over the halfback wheel. Now you can run. You want to look for post routes and stuff to the left. That's on you. I don't recommend that because that's not how I would run the play. I run it just simple and effective. I don't run all the crazy stuff. But this play right here is the crazy stuff. If I can find it somewhere here where the Z spot. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, the route that I'm about to show you gets open in cover three. So Z spot, and then I'm going to come over here to cover three, and I'm just going to run random cover three. Okay, simple. All you do is put B on a streak. That's Ridley. Put X on a streak. You don't motion nobody out. Two streaks up the field. Pay attention to Ridley, bro. Pay attention to my man Ridley. He gets over here. I, I didn't lead past that, but he would have caught that. I didn't lead past it to the right. Remember, you want to lead past this to the right, but pay attention, all right? Watch what happens, bro. Watch what happens. Look at this. Look at this nonsense. This is the play. I, 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 like, I like plays like this. Plays that are easy to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like. I like to run that stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, here we go again, man. Simple. B on a street, X on a street. I'm going to slide protect right. And then just hit B over the right side just like this. Boom. Money all day. Money all day. I'm going to take you guys to the promised land. You know what I mean? I'm going to help you guys. Now, I don't know what other playbooks. This, is, this isn't going to work. Okay. But I, I'm going to run this. I'm going to run this. Three deep. I, I don't count that as a play that people would use. Okay. B on a streak. X on a streak. Simple, man. Slide protect to the right. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to slide protect to the right. If their blue is on the left side, then he's smoked. He's toast. And, of course, it's an overthrow. Now, let's put some adjustments out there, man. Let's put some cloud flats and stuff like that. Lead passes to the right. And, like, he'll, he'll leave that guy. But this guy keeps overthrowing the ball, bro. I don't know why. Okay, let's do it. Baseline, cloud flats right there. If the blue's on the left side, he's in trouble. Let me just tell you guys right now. And then just launch this over here to the right. Boom. About time. It's about time he throws it right. So if you're going to be using a QB and you're going to be wanting to throw bombs, you need a QB that can gunsling. You can't use the new Michael Vick. Not going to happen. Okay, Michael Vick's fast, but when they give you a fast QB, they take away the, the deep throws with that guy. That guy will throw it to the stands and stay. He'll, he'll throw like Matt Ryan right now. That's how Mike Vick plays in Ultimate Team. I watch people stream and I watch people struggle with that guy. Yeah, it's dope. Michael Vick's dope. He's fast, but nah, I'm good. I got running backs for that. You know what I'm saying? Here we go again. B over the right side. Boom. So now people will be like, yo, Wolf, man, I'll just run sticks, man. You're a bum. You're a bum. You can't, you can't beat me. You know what I mean? I'm going to play sticks. 
I'm gonna put B on a streak, X on a streak. I'm, I'm just gonna try to run it the same way. You know what I mean? Because people are right, man. People are right. If you run sticks, right, you're gonna stop this play, right, bro? You, you stopping this play with sticks, bro? Is that what you're telling me that you're gonna run sticks and stop the play? Because I have I have something to tell you right now, man. It ain't happening. So that's how y'all gonna beat me, bro. Y'all gonna play sticks on me or whatever, right? You're gonna base the line, put some clouds, and then play sticks, bro, so you can stop my stuff. Here, let's see if you can stop it, man. Because you guys, you guys seem like you guys seem like you figured it out, man. But I'm here to tell you, bro, you, you can't. You can't do it. Now, what what your opponent's gonna be forced to do, right? He's gonna have to baseline, right? He's gonna have to take B. He's gonna have to take. He's gonna have to send people. He's gonna have to send people over there into that direction. Now, people always telling me you're a bum. Everybody knows you run inside thirds, outsides, and whatever. When they do that, bro, okay, make them pay, okay. You take this guy, motion him out, put him on a comeback route, okay. Take A and streak him, just like that. Like I said, if you run, if I notice that you're running, I'm watching your people in the secondary. Trust me, believe me, I am watching your people in the secondary. All right, if you're gonna be running those types of zones on me, bro, this is all day right here. So people take me for a joke, man. Like, I'll run inside thirds and, and, and outside, bro. So now we have all types of people covered on the field, but none of that matters. Once they change their secondary, everything underneath is mine. And once I see you compensating, I'm gonna choke your secondary with the A route, take RB, force the zone play, and now I have the B route on the comeback. He's gonna be wide open. Every single time you adjust your secondary, which I try to preach to everybody, if they stop you with sticks and they start playing sticks, if they start changing the, the, the blues in the backfield, if they start doing that, bring the comeback routes out. Make them pay for those adjustments. If you notice that your cover three beater is not working, go to comeback routes, have a streak to choke the secondary, once you get the secondary to force that zone that they're supposed to play with a streak, the comeback routes and the flat routes will open up. You'll for force your opponent not to make those adjustments. Then you can come back with the beaters. Now, sorry for going on a little rant right there, man, but I got I gotta, I gotta prove my point. I'm, you, you're not playing just anybody over here, you know what I mean? I'm not one of those YouTubers that watch other people play, bro. I am the person who plays this game, you know what I'm saying? I don't copy other people's stuff. There it is, man. Drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.